Welcome back guys, and we're down here on the mines because I just wanted to get some resources back because I've been using like some coal and some redstone for stuff and I want to get all of those things back and as you see, as you can see, you just saw this on action. There's a lead here for some reason um, and i am actually been getting these resources by backtracking all my caves and just coming around to the spots that I didn't mind because I often leave these behind coal, redstone and lapis, even gold I just leave them all behind because I'm mainly going for diamonds and iron and now I'm just coming back and getting it like, pretty easily and you see these things here and these ones these are Endermen. Just pick them up from, from the, up there and just bring them down here and leave them here. Just got some from here and I've just been going through the tunnels, you know, and just finding some coal, like right here. Yeah, I see like, a lot of coal here. Maybe I can find diamonds behind one of behind some of these, you know. You never know. More redstone. And I'm I'm just mainly going for redstone. I just spotted, yeah, iron here. Iron is good. I don't know why I ignored iron the first time I, I came here, so... But, I've mostly been gathering all of this so I can actually keep my supply up. And I just did the clock tower. So we actually have a place to look at the village. And it's not yet completed because I'm still going to need some things from the nether. I've actually fully completed completed. That's soul sand because I wanna get get up there with soul sand. And at the moment I don't have it, so I'm using leathers. <laughs> Lots of leathers. Uh, and I'll actually go and show you. And I think I can get out this way. Yeah, I can. Yeah, this is the pool, the water thing here, and a slime stole my cart. Yep. So when I get up there, there will be a slime in my minecart. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they spawned. But that annoyed me. <laughs> like, first it was a big slime, but I managed to kill it as it was going up. Then the cart fell back down, and then the cart actually went back up with a mini slime, and I couldn't get that one. So, yeah. There she was. <sighs> that little one just annoyed me. Couldn't you die? I mean, yeah. And I actually removed this chest because I completed this part right here. This one, yeah, I fill, I fill this thing with chests so I can actually store all of these things and I'm actually gonna turn them into blocks, you know, just so that they don't occupy as much space, I don't have, oh I have, I don't have gold ore, and lapis goes here, and I also finished I mean, sort of, the end of this tunnel. Let me actually go show you. I mean, it's not fully completed. I still need to figure out what I want to do with this zone here. But this part is done, you know? I mean, I just come out of the, of the boat, it gets destroyed, and then as soon as I... What? Oh, it got destroyed? What? Okay, so that's a thing. Okay, and uh, never mind. And I put. Okay, this is a lighting bug. I uh, put this chest here, so if I want to store something, you know, while I'm AFKing, and the chests are the same. I'm still on this chest right now, so still got these two to go. Ceiling is done, and I still need to just figure out what I want to do with this zone right here. For some reason, okay, but. 
I don't know if I want to just cover it up here or if I want to do something with this space right here. I've still got to figure it out. And I just lost my boat. Uh, I gotta put a lot of boats there. I gotta walk back. Okay. And now I'm going to show you the tower that I did. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm not gonna change like something. Uh, probably will. Uh, but only if I get something good from the new nether, you know, and I, and I think it, it fits, so I'll do it. But for now, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. I mean, it took me a while to actually build it, to arrange some of the stuff, and I need to keep coming back down, to keep going back up. Uh, yeah, but this is the final design. Uh, I still need to work a little bit on this top here. And I'm still thinking, those trappers, I put them there. I'm probably gonna switch them out with spruce. Those ones, I'm straight up gonna remove. And still gonna maybe uh, do one more fence there on the top. And creepers there, of course. Um, and I still gotta do some touches, you know, on this part. I'm still not fully, fully happy with this part. This one right here, I'm probably going to switch some blocks around still. Yeah, I still I'm putting the cracked stone bricks right now. So it's I still need to put some on these edges right here. And like some there too, you know, and some stuff like that. Uh, but minor details, pretty much the base it will be this thing. And on the center it will be a water elevator to the top. That's actually a viewing platform that I actually can see all around me and that's what i'm gonna do with that you know i think it turned out nicely uh it stands out because it's tall and yeah i'll keep i'll keep grinding i'll keep picking up some more resources and i'll come back to you when i actually have an idea for the house of the villagers so yeah be right back so guys, I'm just coming back off the village that's over there, and I'm I've been trying to look for a, a ravine, those ones that have a magma blocks down down at the bottom, and I just also spotted this thing. I want to see if it has anything good, and I wanted to find one of those ravines because they are a really good source of magma blocks. I mean, I don't have a lot. I have this one. I'm not sh this is, yeah this is the only one I've actually found and am I gonna drown no, okay and I, I kind of would like to find more of these you know I mean I'm I have not been getting lucky with these ones uh, there's quite a few buildings like those you know ruins like that but I haven't actually found anything useful on, on them and most of them are actually empty. <laughs> they don't even have anything in the, inside like that one just had. Um, so yeah, uh, if I, I'd love to find one of those, you know, but I'm just not lucky enough. I, I don't think I have quite a decent ocean to look for one of those, but I just don't think that any 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 one of those generated. I have quite a few normal water ravines. But they don't have magma blocks, it's just normal standard ravines, you know, underwater, so nothing more. And I really like that coming in here, you actually see the clock real well. I did some couple, I need a, uh, oh my god, my English, what? And this is skeleton, okay. And I actually broke coral. That's alright. Um, I did some changes to the, to the clock. Uh, I guess I can pop off here and show them in a moment. Um, I did some changes to the clock. And these are the animals I have, and I actually got lucky enough to get a, a normal spawn for a brown sheep. And this is one that, the one that I wanted the most, uh, mainly because uh, they give me brown wool. And to get brown wool, I would need to get cocoa beans to get brown dye. But I haven't got any luck with a wandering trader so find, finding this one is just really good and I breed it with one of these white sheep and I actually got another brown sheep so that's really good for me I actually have a decent supply of brown wool 
Uh, I was saving the wool, storing the wool on there, but I think I'm gonna start just putting it here. You know, just save stuff. Because I can put a lead here. I got these ones from the village that I went for. I went to get this unbreaking book. Uh, so I can actually put it, put it here on the fortune pickaxe because it doesn't yet have unbreaking. So that's what I'm gonna do. Open this up. And unbreaking here we go so now it has all the me the main four enchants that i can actually want in this pick so it's really good um i have a couple armor stands i'll show them i'll show the show you why in a second um let me just sleep over the night uh because i've been starting to decorate a little bit a little bit more you know uh i went around and splashed some things on the ground just with a random bone wheel that i had like I had a bones, so I was just do bone and splashing around. And the changes that I did were mostly on the top part. You know, I pushed the a clock, let's say that, a little the frame of it, I pushed it forward, you know, and give it a little bit of a, a little bit of design, a rounder design, you know, so it can actually look like a clock and it's not as flat. And on the top part I actually decided to push that thing just like I did it like I did on the roof and actually turned out really cool you know, I really like that part this part here it still looks a little bit too grayish so I'm probably gonna end up doing something about that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it on the, the class or if I'm gonna change like this thing to like normal cobblestone or even just put some spruce over there you know just to give it a little bit of a, of a color variation and the armor stands that I've been using, I've been using them here. You know, I put it two down here. Ooh. Yeah, I put it two down here. You know, because since this is a uh, my smeltery, you know, and all of that, you know, it, I think it will look cool. I still need to put a chain mill, a chain mill one, like maybe here or on that corner, you know, or this one. Uh, I still need to put a chain mill. Only the smeltable ones I'm going to put here. I'm not going to put leather uh nor diamonds for that you know uh, i'm not even gonna put diamonds even though i could if i had enough diamonds um because you don't actually need to smelt diamonds you know you just use them but these ones i think it, they fit in here uh probably still gonna just toy around with it, <laughs> with his animations you know and just put them in a pose that i kind of like eh. No, I prefer this one mostly. Uh, I actually tested it out. You know, this one is not that bad, but or this one is not that bad. But I, th I think this w I would save like this type of pose for another type of building. You know, for this one, I think that one is just, is just the the best one. Yeah, this one because it's presenting the armor and it's presenting the tool. So yeah, I kind of like this one. And another thing that I noticed that my minecart. I mean, now I have it here, I hope, yeah, it is there, uh, I left this running, you know, once, and when I came back, like, when I remember that this thing was still running, the minecart was gone, yeah, it completely vanished, this thing was on, and there was no minecart down there, you know, and I just went to the back, I mean, maybe it got stuck, maybe a mob spawned, then it got stuck, no, no, nothing like that, it just vanished. And I didn't like that. <laughs> I need to make a new one. Um, and now, coming back to the villagers, I counted. I have nine villagers total, counting the ones that I have in this village and the ones that I have on that other village down there. So I need to make a house that's big enough for nine villagers. But I need to remind myself that on 1.16, the curing of the villagers will actually be very useful. So. I just put a dirt there so to level this thing all out and I'm kind of thinking that if I'm going to make them a house I should already facilitate the work for me later so I can actually zombify them and then cure them so I'll probably try and store them every single one of them or on minecarts uh, so I can then later use those minecarts to actually pull them back into a zombification zone chamber 
and then turn them into zombie villagers, then cure them and get the discounts. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Actually, I have quite a bit of cobblestone to. I was going to mark that, but then I got reminded of that thing, so I'm still debating on how I'm gonna do it. I was thinking on trying to make like sort of a library on one half, and on the other half, like normal, just like a normal living room with all the other ones. Uh, they'll miss. They'll mostly be stuck in the walls, <laughs> so yeah, it will not be fun for them. They actually have more liberty here than what I'm going to give them. And now that I'm here, I can actually just quickly, yeah, trade with this guy a little bit more. This guy is, this is one of my best traders. This guy and the cleric one. Yeah, this guy is really good. Uh, the other guys I'm still working on on the trades. I just did a little bit more trading with all the with some of the librarians. Let's get a few more lanterns in. Uh, I used a little bit of paper from the from the sugarcane farm. And yeah, um, I'm thinking of doing an L-shaped building here, like using that thing, going there and then coming back, like an L-shape, like going there all the way here and then finishing like around here or something, and having all the villagers on here. And the zombification, I think I'll do it underground. You know, I've been thinking and I'm, I'm not sure that I want to put everything on the, on the top, on the surface. You know, I think it would be cool that... Wait, what? Yeah, I heard you. You can stay there. Um, yeah, so I'll probably put the zombification chamber on the ground and not pay that much attention to that right now because I can't actually... I mean, I can do it, but it's just waste of resources because they just don't get uh, the discounts. I tried it on a realm with a friend of mine and they just don't get any type of discounts. I mean, I just waste time doing that. So I'm start. I'm gonna start working on the L-shape and maybe try and do like a couple cells to do an uh, example and then I'll come back. So yeah, uh, let me just get my resources here and I'll be right back. So here's something I haven't seen in a while, uh, like a really long while, and where there, there he is, a spider jockey. Damn, and he's really fast. Like look at this, he's really fast. Oh, oh, he, he went on the roof. Okay, he's really fast, you know. And he caught me off guard. I was just leaving the the tree farm over there and just suddenly I got hit by an arrow and I was like, ooh, a skeleton. Then I saw a spider jumping at me and I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, run, 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 run. So I came inside the house as fast as I could. Uh, yeah, it's really fast. I didn't know that they were actually that fast. I think normal spiders aren't that fast. So I don't know why a spider jog is like a boost on it, you know? And... Hi. Uh, no creepers, no creepers, thank god. And in case you're wondering, uh, this tree farm is actually pretty decent, you know? Uh, you actually get more saplings that even if the tr all the trees grow in the same row, you know, I mean, you kind of have a lossage of leaves, but you get more saplings than the ones that you're planting, always. I mean, at if you are paying attention, of course, and coming here to actually get the saplings, you know, sometimes I just take the trees out and just leave the saplings to despawn. But if you you actually come back and catch the the saplings, you get more than the ones that you're planting, so that's good. And the layout I'm going to I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. That's curves. Yeah, I'm gonna curve it here, um, here also. And here, I mean, I tried it with a bit of a bigger curve, but I thought, nah, I'm gonna have to way too much struggles with that, so I'm just gonna try and do that one and this one. I'm not sure how's that going to turn out, uh, but the main objective is actually use the frame of this one and push these logs one block forward so you can actually have a little bit of depth. And. Who's okay? You're, yeah, you're. Sh you should be there. Yeah, uh, yeah, perfect. And I mean, technically, we don't need you here. And technically, we don't need you here. 
Mm, yes. Yes, perfect. And then I'll just try and grab this this guys one by one and put them in a few cells. And speaking about cells, let me just get rid of this path real quick. Perfect. And the cells, imagine. I'm debating if I want the entrance here or if I just want a window here. And I'll probably just have a window on this corner. And the main entrance would be here, through this, through this gap, or even here, in a like the one that I have on the on my furnace array, on my smelter is just an open wide, not even a door. Um, but I think that I have to take in consideration zombies and saying that. I will need a door, so this will be the door. And coming in, the ones that I trade the most will most likely be the ones that are actually in the front, you know. So that said, I would have probably the librarians here, and on this side right here I'll have the farmer and the cleric, because the farmer and the cleric are the ones that I trade the most. The the librarians I don't trade as much, but I do trade with them, you know, to get some books. And the other guys are the Fletchers, and yeah, these guys. Uh, I occasionally trade with them, you know, I traded to see what kind, what kind of bows they would give me. And this guy is giving me punch one, I believe that the other dude is giving me, if he comes here, yes, yeah, power two, uh, not very good trades. And they also accept tripwires for for emeralds, you know. If I had an AFK fish farm, I'd actually this would actually be a really good trade. Uh, but since I don't have it, so I'm not gonna do that one. And in terms of logs, let me show you. Like these ones would come like one forward. That one would be one forward as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a second second store, you know, like a second floor, uh, I'll most likely not going <laughs> to do that, and I was thinking of doing the pillars for these ones here, this is just so I can actually show you my thought process on sort of the build, and um, I'll actually do it like this, yeah, and this one I'll go here, and here, yeah, then I will replicate this one here, two, three, four, then I will replicate this one here, one, two, three, four, and yeah, I kind of like this. Then I just have to do this. And this is where it actually can be a little bit tricky because now I have to face the question do I leave it like this or do I do another one like that and I'll most likely do another one I'll probably just turn this one into a bar clock so it doesn't have the double face you know it's just straight up wood which you know that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now to show you like this so it's it looks like this yeah and I can already put this one here uh, not quite I have to do that and let me use dirt to try and build the rest and push it forward and boom 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 and then I have the window here yeah I like it. Okay, let me just remove this. I'll get all the wood that I have. Start framing all of this thing a little bit better. Uh, this is my main source of food. <laughs> just going around and hacking cows. I can actually get leather to do some books to do more trading. And so it's still there. So I gotta get the I'm gonna get the oak and I'm gonna start framing all of this. And I'll probably just tear that thing down. And then I need to start working on the cells for each individual because I have to take in consideration the beds you know 
And that's that's not gonna be pretty now that I'm thinking about it. Because it's actually gonna take a lot of space. Like, let's see. Uh, imagine one's here. Bed, workstation, him. Ah, I, can, I can live with that. Yeah, I think I can live with that. Yeah. Then just wall, another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep doing this, you know, just trying to get the frame up, the framing done, and I'll be right back. So guys, they cooperated, you know. They they actually cooperated with me for some time, for the first time, you know. They they came here pretty easily. I didn't even use the minecarts, you know. I just picked up their workstation and plucked it down there. They walked into it and I closed them off. I mean, that was pretty easy. Uh, I only did these guys, the guys that were on this house. I uh, still need to get that one, that one there, and the cleric. I have other ideas for the cleric though. I think the cleric I'll actually take him to the drown farm. You know, I think that's the best place for him to be right now. I'm not sure if any mobs can spawn here. Uh, I still need to think what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna turn this into a two floor library. You know, just, just so it doesn't look that off, you know. And I'll keep this second story, so second story, you know. And this is where everything can go wrong. I'm not sure if they will come off there. There's a possibility that they just wake up in, on top of the bed. And I don't want that to happen because they may suffocate there. I'm gonna have to test it out. <laughs> I didn't want it. Uh, just in case. I'm gonna block in case they actually can get out of there. And, uh, I can take that thing off. I'm still gonna need to do a lot of decorations here. Roof here. Probably swap that roof out for spruce. Do a spruce roof here. And let me see, you know. I'm gonna sleep. Hope for the best. Hope that none of them get out of that tiny, 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 tiny cell. Um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that's gonna work. Uh, God, they all might just die. It's probably a mistake. Should have made it higher. Uh, hopefully they're not dead. I mean, it's an F slab, so technically shouldn't kill them. Okay, I see no one out here. Oh, oh. That's good. That's perfect. What was this? That is perfect. Yes. So, yeah, I think I'll just replicate this for all of the other ones. Here, I'll have to actually... Let me just do this already. I'm gonna put the chest with the stuff I wanna trade, and let me trade this guy. Amazing, then trade with this guy for more lanterns because I'm running out of lanterns. Put these things here, and yeah, so these guys are done. I'm still gonna decorate it, decorate all of this. I need to put the ceiling in. I'm, pr uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna come around. I'm thinking of switching the layer, uh, the bottom layer, this one, with stone bricks. And that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, just to give a little bit of a texture, you know, something like this. But the oak is a cobblestone, there, you know. And the, this cobblestone would be the bricks. And I still need to just go around and just hide some lighting here and there uh, this thing already has those ones giving light there's a zombie here hey it did um, but yeah it worked pretty nicely uh, there's this is not completely centered and why is that? Should I make a two-way door here? 
I mean, I could. I just don't want to wait. Hmm. I'll, I'll just tinker around with it. And I need to find a, something to do here on this corner. This is probably the, the hardest corner I have to, to do something about. And I'm really not sure of what to do. Uh, here I'm actually trying to remove and I need to put the log here in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna put the bell here, sure. Who is the guy? Oh, it's you. Okay. Actually, I didn't know who he was, <laughs> the, the leader of the village. Uh, yeah. Uh, I gotta put the log there. I gotta probably redo the whole second second floor there, and I kind of want to do the, the stone brick layer in the bottom, and then I have to just splash around uh, some some mossy cobble, some andesite, and some stuff. I see some andesite. I need to get more mossy cobble. I have a few. Uh, I'm not sure this is enough, but I have, I have a few. Uh, some cracked stone bricks as well. And then some regular stone bricks. And I'll do the, I'll do the things and when it's pretty much done I'll come back to show you at the end. So I just finished the roofs and I've, I did a little bit work here on this one, you know, just making it a little bit better. I put the slabs here to prevent spawns. I also did the same thing on the on the barn as well. And the next step for this thing is only just the finishing touches. And hello. Okay. And the finishing touches will be just putting the other two villagers, one in here and the other one up here. And then I'll just decorate this one and this one like sort of a library. Even though I have one here hundred here but the other two the other two guys will actually have a little bit of a better a little better treatment this guy will probably have his station there his bed maybe like this something like that yeah I'll just toy around with the way that I'm gonna actually put these things but I'll I'll access him from here then I'll put like some bookshelves here and some bookshelves up here also and make this look like sort of a library you know maybe just Put some cobwebs up there and this episode will eventually be a little bit bigger because i actually got done a lot of things um but hopefully you guys enjoy and you can always give me your feedback leave a like and subscribe if you want to and yeah it will be that will be it for me and see you in the next one goodbye